Hi there, I'm Black Bright and I just wanted to give you a quick video before I left on my way to work. Um, as you know, if it's the first time you're passing, well, you don't know if it's the first time you're passing. But if it's the first time you're passing, I'm Black Bright, born in the UK, from uh, lived in the United States for about 11 years, lived in Africa for one year, um, lived in the UK. I was born in the UK of Jamaican parents. Um, what else is there to know? Work full time. I'm a mother. I'm a grandmother. What else? Um, I've worked in the legal profession. I've worked for the government. Um, I now work um, in health. And basically, I think that's enough about me. Oh, yes, I'm a writer. I'm an author. I'm a poet. I'm a DJ. And I'm also a counsellor. So, yeah, let's get back to the matter in hand. This amnesty business that Boris um, Gardner, Boris Gardner, I always say that, you know, Boris Gardner is the name of a singer, a reggae singer, and I, it always comes out of my mouth. Anyway, um, Boris Johnson. Boris Johnson has put out a political statement that amnesty is going to take place, and it seems as though it is. And as you know, everything that seems too good to be true usually is. I'm not saying that you should close your eyes to it. I'm just saying, what is the reasoning behind it now? Why would Boris Johnson, who is opposed to immigrants from what he says in the past and his literal statements and his um, demolishments of immigrants and his uh, statements about letterboxes and his statements about Pekinginis. Why would he now want to grant amnesty to illegal immigrants? Why? You have to ask the question. Instead of getting excited and thinking, oh yeah, I can stay in the country as long as I've been here for 10 years, as long as I don't have a criminal record, as long as I have the right connections in the UK, I can stay in the country. Way, yippee. Stop and think and don't react. Ask yourself, what is really going on here? Remember, I might sound like I'm doom and gloom, but something is going down that we don't know about, whether it's um, a recession, whether it's um, the civil war, whether it's the onset of World War Three, they want to know who's in the country. That is it. Nothing more, nothing less. They want to know who is in this country. They can't do that. They can't know that when they've got illegal immigrants. They don't know how to match them up. And as much as they're using all their little biometrics and whatever, they don't know who's here and they need to know who's here. They need to know who they can pull on if there's a war. They need to know who they can get to do certain things. They can't do that if they haven't got all the facts. And you know, you, the UK is very strategic about getting the facts. They cannot get the facts unless they have all the people in the UK accounted for. To me, that's what the amnesty is about. It's about accounting for all the illegal immigrants that are here. So they know what to do. They know what they've got to play with. They know what they're going to do next. We don't know what, we're, what they're going to do next. You could be jumping out of the frying pan into the fire. All I'm saying, with the economy not being so great at the moment, what is the purpose of legitimising illegal immigrants now? You know, sometimes these things are just to create a riot. It's just to create unease. It's just to, it's just to make um, people get antagonistic with each other. Can you imagine an amnesty and all these racists that are out there I'm not saying everyone's racist, I'm just talking about those who are. They'll have a field day. Start rioting, start burning down things, start killing. All these illegal immigrants, they're taking out effing jobs. We can't get a job because they're here, they're using our dole, they're doing this, and now Boris Johnson is making them legal. 
It's just going to cause unrest and unease. So you have to think about the motive. Don't go marching down there talking about, oh, I've been here for 10 years. I haven't got no criminal records. I'm all right. Thing is, a lot of those people, they're still waiting for their bloody paperwork. If they're so eager, if they can't even handle what they've got on their books and people are waiting over 18 months to, who are legitimately entitled to live in the country, why would they now want to bombard the system with a load of illegal immigrants? Does that make sense to you? It doesn't make sense to me. Deal with what you've got. Sort that out. Then I can understand. You've got the resources. Sort that out. It's like in the, it's like in America. They're doing this DNA handling of people who are entering into the country, They're allegedly just criminals, but they are saying that legal immigrants and blah 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 are still going to be subject to that DNA testing. But they're also claiming they don't have the resources to do it. So why don't they sort out what they've got at home first? before adding on additional work for for their stuff. It doesn't make sense. And if it doesn't make sense to me, it's some, there's something a bit dodgy going on. Um, okay, just quickly. Um, the government legally allows an undocumented immigrant to live legally in the country by pronouncing an amnesty. Um, and anybody who gets an amnesty, they get the advantage of applying for leave to remain in the country. Boris claims he is not in favour of decreasing immigrants. Why is he not in favour of decreasing immigrants when that is why he was voted into Parliament and that is the whole point of Brexit? Why is he not interested in, in decreasing immigrants? It's a load of bull. He's claiming that, you know, they benefit the country. They do, but... Are they the type to acknowledge that? Unless there's an underlying motive. Beware of wolves in sheep's clothing. Um, Boris intends to grant permission to those who have lived in the UK 10 years or longer. Um, must have a clean life, no criminal records and should be compliant. I'm not quite sure. What are they supposed to be compliant in? Does anybody know? What are they supposed to be compliant in? You've got no criminal records. You've been in here for 10 years. What are you meant to be compliant in? You see, you have to be careful about these little words and phrases they throw in and they don't explain it. I don't know what that means. Compliant. I know what compliant means. It means that you, you, um, you're, you're within the law. So maybe, I mean, but that's criminal. Wouldn't that come under criminal records? Not unless they're talking about complaint in anything. You know, maybe traffic offences, maybe um, debt. I don't know. If you're looking for compliant, all you do is go and check what it is in America that you need to be compliant to get into the UK. The UK is much more shrewd. They're not going to tell you everything up front. But if you look at um, USA's um, America, who's a much more transparent country, and find out what they need to get into the country or what they need to be, have to be legitimate, you will know what the UK is not saying. OK, sometimes it, you should concentrate on what they're not saying, not what they are. Um, they have to have connections in the UK. I'm not quite sure what connections there are. Probably family members who have lived here for quite a long time. Once again, are those family members legal? How long have they been here? Are they legit? Have they got, you know, have they got all their paperwork? Have they got any criminal convictions? It's not straightforward, peeps. It's not a question of you, oh, I've been here 10 years, got no criminal uh, convictions. Yeah, I'm going up there to get my amnesty. It's not that simple. I don't believe it's that simple. Um, but like I said, it's not, it's not law yet. It's just a political statement. Immigrants who are not, oh yeah, there's this um, warning. Immigrants who are not on the Home Office system or who do not have any matters pending in the UK 
and who do not meet the terms um, must get legal advice. Stay the hell away from them. If you're not legally in the country, if you're not in the Home Office system, what have you got to lose? What have you got to lose? Um, yeah, you've got to be really, really careful. You just have to. The thing is, is that if you're not on the criminal system, if you're sorry, if you're not on the Home Office system, you just like I've said in previous videos, have a contingency plan so that if you are found out you've got enough money or enough security in your home country that when they ship you back there, you're not stranded, you're not broke. That is how you should be thinking now. No other way but that, especially if you're here illegally. Amnesty sounds nice, but it all depends. I mean, I shouldn't really be deterring you from amnesty because it happened in the 1980s and it was successful. But it's different governments and we have different uh, motives now. So I'm just worried about the motives. If we can hear some positive motives, then, and it's coming from a credible source, then I'm all for it. I'll say, go on, go ahead. Go up there, go and get your amnesty. But it's not marrying up. What is coming out of people's mouths and then the policies they're making and their actions are not marrying up. There's inconsistencies and that's what gives me doubt. That's what makes me skeptic. But like I said, it's just my opinion. It's not fact. I, I you know, I, I don't know what's going on behind the scenes. I'm not with the government. You know what I mean? I'm not with the Home Office. I'm not with the Border Force. I'm not on Boris Johnson's team, so I don't know what's going on. I just know if one and one doesn't make two, then something is wrong. Um, so the act of not cooperating with the Home Office will harm your immigration history, but it's already harmed if you're illegal. And it's a barrier to the future. I, I don't know. I, I've just got a funny feeling it's to keep tabs. Uh, if it's not to keep tabs, it's to send people to war. Um, like I said, anything that sounds too good to be true usually is. And you just have to be careful. Whatever you do, I'm not saying you should or you shouldn't, but think it out. React, don't react, respond. Thoughtfully respond. Wait and think about and watch and watch what's happening. Listen to what they're saying. Listen to all anything there's on about amnesty, whether it's on YouTube, whether it's in the newspaper, whether you're listening to political debates. Watch and listen and make sure the information marries up. If it marries up to your satisfaction, then please go ahead. If you get a funny feeling in your stomach and you say, oh, that doesn't sound right. That person said that. This one is saying this, that one is saying that. Nah, something's not quite right here. If you have those kind of reservations, then don't take them lightly. And that's all I'm saying. Bye-bye.